Hi, it's me again with Corel Draw Tips and Tricks. Somebody sent me this clip art that's pretty clear. They're just going to print it on, I think, on a vinyl plotter, which I don't really understand. But uh, for the one I'm doing it for, I made their your clip art real little. Uh, I think it makes it easier for Corel. I am going to hit the plus key and nudge it over and make another copy. Then I'm going to take the original. I'm going to go to Trace Bitmap, Outline Trace, Clip Art. And because of what I'm going to do with this, I'm going to take the detail and raise it all the way to 100%. Then I'm going to nudge that over twice. And there is our item. But if you think, you know, this wouldn't print, this is going to print, but he needs to cut it out. So we need to put a, a cutout line around this item. Well, now we're going to go to object group and ungroup this. And watch what happens right here when I ungroup. The well tools come up. Get your boundary. We'll nudge that over. Now, if I put that boundary right on top, trying to zoom into all three of these. You can't really see the cut line on my clip art. It is there. You just can't see it. And I don't know, you know, if you want to print right on that sticker or cut right on that sticker, but you can always go to effects and open up the contour docker. And we're going to contour to the outside in with rounded corners, just 0 0.02. Now, we need to go to object and break the contour apart. And then if you will grab the center of the contour, it's going to grab the center one and not the outer one. So now we can nudge that over. And you could use any amount. You know, that's a pretty clean cut line. And you could make it thinner or thicker or, you know, whatever you want to do. And, and like down here on his shoes, you could actually smooth that out if you wanted to, but it kind of gives the shoes some uh, feel to them, I guess, whatever. Anyway, that's how I would do it. Hope that helped. Thank you for watching.